For this croissant, you can have all these raspberries with this much whipped cream. For these five frosted Oreos, you can have these two bowls of sugar-free jello. This video has been getting some hate and it doesn't deserve it. Volume eating is great. You can literally eat more food and lose weight. Despite eating more food, it has less calories. This little fucker right here has 200 calories in it. You can eat it in 10 seconds, where this has 30 calories for the entire bag. You can literally eat nearly seven of these bags for just the calories in this little thing. But that doesn't make this bad and this good. Both of these fit into a healthy diet. Or you could have something like Ben and Jerry's that's 1400 calories per pint. But when you make a healthy swap like Halo Top, these can be as low as 270 calories per pint. Or maybe you start your breakfast off with a delicious cinnamon roll, over a thousand calories gone. However, volume eating does have its drawbacks. When you get used to eating such large amounts of food, if it's calorically dense, and not high volume, you in turn eat even more calories. And when you're overly restrictive only eating this, and you deny yourself this, then you start binging this. So what do we do? What's the answer? We do both. We eat a lot of this, but when we're really craving this, we eat this. And sometimes we go for the healthy swap. But if the Halo Top doesn't satiate you next time you're craving ice cream, have the real ice cream. Creating awareness about the calories inside of these things is not inherently bad. The more informed we are, the better decisions we're gonna make. If you wanna learn how to have balanced, sustainable weight loss where you get to enjoy healthy substitutes on a regular basis, plus the real deal, and still lose weight, build muscle, and improve your health at the same time, give me a follow or hire me as your coach.